guys welcome back to my channel how are you so today i'm not going to do any physical crafting what i'm going to do instead is show you my house ready for christmas and not because i want to show you oh my house look how amazing it is because it's just a house and as you go around you'll see there's things lying around and whatever but i just wanted to one share with you um how you can create your own festive house but also how you can do it on a budget and a lot of things I'm going to show you I've either picked up in Poundland, been gifted to me, or I've made myself. And there are other things, obviously, that I've bought. I've got a little treat on the crew from Harrods. Um, but hopefully what you'll get from this is a bit of inspiration that you can do some crafting this Christmas to make your house look beautiful and get the kids involved as well. Because everything I've made is on my channel. Okay. So, guys welcome to my christmas okay so i have to show you my christmas tree because i love it and it is absolutely jam packed with lights and baubles and everything and the biggest part of my tree is and i don't know if you can see there i collect harrod baubles and i have them since 2000 so for the last 20 years some years just buy one some years i've bought two some years bought three um unfortunately 2002 got smashed so i'm still on the hunt for that one to replace it um and this year they didn't have these beautiful sort of teddy bear ones they just had some normal type ones which i can't actually see it at the moment but it is on my tree i tend to go red and gold as you can tell but some years i've had to compromise and go with purple or green if that's all they had um, in the store unfortunately I have got presents wrapped under the tree and some sacks ready and um, there is a bit of a mess in here because we are still wrapping some presents and writing cards out but I'm going to show you because that's real life and this angel up here I have had for donkey's years um, I think ever since I had a Christmas tree when I left home at 19 so and I got it from Woolworths if anyone remembers Woolworths and I just love her and I would cry I think if she got damaged she's just been with me in every single house every single christmas so yes she is not funky at all but she is traditional and she is my fairy on the tree so i do love her and then if i bring you down to here i've got these little stockings i do love my winnie pooh and i made these last year these are on my channel i do apologize there's a jet just flying over which is just set fire off um and then these i got from hat and craft center many years ago probably about 20 years ago this was a recent buy from Poundland and I love it, along with the mistletoe. And that's another one. And so that's the matching one to the one I made last year. And then another Christmas stocking. And then on my lounge door, I have a wreath which I made last year. Let me turn the lights on. So this is my naughty elf leaf, leaf wreath even. So that was made with Poundland items and I just love it. It's just absolutely great. And then if I just span around, span around, I've got little ornaments I've collected over the years. So this was from Prague many years ago on a girl's trip. Um, I think this might have been from Prague as well. No, this probably was from Woolworths actually. He was from Woolworths years ago, definitely years ago. This is a Poundland item from last Christmas, as is that one. That definitely is from um, Prague. It was a handmade item that I bought from a market. And these are sort of things that my mum and dad have bought me over the years as presents. And again, this is about 20 years old, which I got from Hat and Craft Centre with some other items that I bought, which I'll show you in a minute. And I think he was from Prague as well. Uh, I've been to Prague about six times, so it's not like I bought more than one trip. Uh, and I've just interfilled with these Fonsettas, which were from Poundland, just to give it actual bit more colour there. And then this bottle I made last year, so that's on my channel, so you want to have a look at that, as is this Christmas tree light here. So behind that bottle, well, that Christmas tree is a bottle, just an old champagne bottle that lights up. And I just love it. I think it's great. So that will be on my channel, I believe, from last year as well. Um, this tree, I'm trying to put my photo back. This tree, my mum and dad bought me one Christmas. And you can have it outdoors and indoors, but I just love it indoors. So, yeah. And then up here, this is definitely on my site. These are three old champagne bottles, um, which I've just uh, sprayed. And then using Poundland decorations... Um, I've just made them into ornaments and then got some thistles from the uh, the countryside and just gave them a little spray with the gold paint as well so really effective and very cheap to do 
Gotta have a bear Christmas. It's my picture. I just love that picture. We got from a art gallery in Glasgow. And then obviously I got my two naughty elves. And these are the ornaments in the middle that I mentioned that um, I got with the book from Hat Crunchy World was that 20 years ago. So uh, yeah, I love those still. And then my old dog, Sophie, which you've never met, this was her stocking. I can't bring myself to give it to my dogs. Um, I'm gonna make them a new one this year as well for my two. They tend to just have little sacks. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my old Sophie's. And then definitely on my channel, are these beautiful lanterns which I made last year. So that's from Poundland and that's from Pound Stretcher. And they're electric lights, or electric candles, and they are just so beautiful. So when the room is lit up at night with all these lights, it is just so lovely. And this is next to where I sit at night, so I do love that. So if I take you around, trying to avoid my dogs. Um, more teddy bears for Christmas. Oh, and I've got to you this, right? My auntie Sue made me this. Can I just show you? Look, my own little elf. And she knitted the year, so 2015 on the back of that. So I just love it. So yeah, it comes out every Christmas. And then just got a section of ornaments. This I made last year, just a old sauce bottle, which I decoupaged. And again, I just love it. It's really effective. These were just from Sainsbury's Little Lights. This year they will have these battery operated ones just because I don't have to worry about leaving them on. So yeah. And then just a few more decorations. These are on my channel, these are for the dogs. They're their Christmas um, treats, so they're up there so they can't get them. And then another one of my lanterns. And this doll my mum bought me about 30 years ago. It's a Christmas doll, so yeah, it comes out every year as a decoration as well. So that's my lounge. Now let me show you my entrance area. Right, it is raining, so I won't be out here very long. But I've got candy canes leading to my house with some hot Christmas trees on there. And then my snowman pot I made the other day and my wreath I made the other day. But I'm gonna go in there because it is pouring the rain. Oh, I've got to show you this wreath my dad made me again about 20 odd years ago and it's still going strong. I do love it, absolutely love it. And then we come into my entrance hall and if you've been watching my channel, you'll recognise these three items because they've all been made this year and they just give it a little bit of a fun um, thing. Now those candy canes, those Christmas tree lights, I didn't tell you well about that because it's pouring rain, um, but they are amazing. They're £5 each from Poundland and they have a timer on it. So if you set it at, um, I don't know, four o'clock, it will run for eight hours and turn itself off automatically and it'll be off for 18 hours and then come back on for another eight hours. So you haven't got to worry about going out and turning it on every night and turning it off before you go to bed. Brilliant bonus. And then just on this little plant, I've just put some Poundland um, birds and a couple of ornaments that my friend bought me, which again I showed on a video. And then here, this was an ornament that I got from Poundland, which I just glued a robin onto it just to make it more effective. And then these I definitely made last year, um, the Joy, they're on my channel. So they're just wine bottles that I've sprayed and decoupaged just to uh, give it a little bit of uh, brightness as you walk in my porch, not porch, my hall, with two more of my uh, tea lights that I made. And before I go upstairs, um, I've got another little wreath that I made here, again from Poundland items. Um, I turn the light on, you might be able to see it better. There we go. Um, and I put battery operated lights on all of my um, reefs just so at night they just sparkle and light up but yeah they weren't expensive to make at all so I do love them and these little bells which you will see scattered around my doors so they're just for extra decoration there and now for my staircase which I love now these are literally just from the Poundland okay they're the um sort of like christmas sort of string that you get and i've just wrapped poundland battery operated, light, operated lights on them so going up and then at the top of the stairs i've just bought three of those christmas parcels and they just light up which is lovely and then at the top of the stairs that's my dogs i've just um put some more of this greenery up here with some lights and then i've scattered intermittently some poncetta with the um christmas trees that i got these are from Woolworths Donkeys years ago, so that's why they're a little bit dented, but they are so old. And then I also showed you some one of my halls. He sat there with another tree, and then my reindeer. So my entrance when it's dark is lovely, and I will show you that later when 
So night comes in. Bargain for a little bit of decoration. So we haven't got a big space. That's perfect. The tree was two pound. Then you've got pound iron for the lights, pound for the decorations, and pound for the candy canes. So I think that's quite sweet. And this is another light my mum bought me years ago as a gift. So guys, just a little bit of a different video from me today. And I hope you like that. And I hope it gives you a bit of inspiration that you don't have to spend a lot of money to make your house look beautiful. A lot of stuff I say I've got around here is either things that have been gifted to me as presents or I've made myself um, very, very cheaply from Poundland items. And you know, they're built up over years. So, you know, this isn't something I've just been out and bought this year. And, you know, I know some people do like to go and change their colour schemes every year and that's absolutely fine. I'm a traditionalist though, so I do like my red and golds. And um, most of my decorations that I've bought have got sentimental value or remind me of a place I've visited to. So on my Christmas tree, I've got things I've bought from New York. I've got things that I bought from China. I don't think we've got there, Africa. Um, all different sort of things. Um, my Chinese ones I got from when I was over there for my 50th. So I've just got those. I've got to remember where I took them from off my tree because it's so busy. And then um, my family in South Africa sent me some beaded decorations a couple of years ago, which I absolutely love. And so, you know, it's just, you know, Christmas is about what you want and decorating it how you want it and what makes you feel all glowy inside. And I have to say, I do love my house at Christmas. I'm like a kid. So, yeah. If you are thinking about some of the things I've made that I've shown you, then please look on my channel. They are there. Um, some of them are last year's ideas, some of this year's. So if you do like them, don't forget to subscribe, click notifications, and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. All right, and hopefully I'll be crafting again by then. All right. And if I don't see you before Christmas, have a fantastic day. I know it's going to be different this year with COVID. Be safe, and I will see you next year. Take care. Bye.